but if you guys want a consistent serve, the number one thing is what? It is the toss. So when you guys serve, you guys want your arm straight and your palm up. Once again, where players go wrong is that they don't. Where is my client? I don't know where he is. All right, so once again, though, when you serve, the number one thing is the toss. You want your arm straight and palm up. Once again, you want your arm straight and palm up. What happens wrong with players is that they bend their arm. If you guys ever have an inconsistent toss, it's because your arm's bent or you're flicking your fingers. When you flick your fingers, if you see this ball spin up in the air, it's because that is the reason why you have an inconsistent toss. Think if my elbow's bent, when I toss, it's gonna go out. Or if I flick my fingers, the ball's going to go. Think about it this way. If I flick my fingers forward, where's the ball gonna go? The ball is going to go forward. If I flick my fingers backward, where's the ball gonna go? The ball's gonna go freaking backward. So where do you wanna toss the ball? You wanna keep your palm up to the heavens, all right? So when you toss, you're thinking about two things. Again, you want your arm straight, and then the second thing, watch what I'm gonna do when I serve. I'm gonna keep my palm up in the sky. Did you see that toss right there? Right, you wanna keep your palm up in the sky. That is what you wanna do. Keep the palm up in the sky and let it fly. Your coach tells you to bend your arm. Your coach is an idiot. You should fire your coach. You should sue your coach for false um, false tennis uh, tips. Anyone telling you bend your arm is an idiot, just to let you know. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? Everyone has their own method methodologies, but if you're telling someone to bend your arm, that's, that's stupid, right? Watch this real quick, right? So if I bend my arm, if I bend my, my arm, watch this, right? So I bend my arm, it's just gonna make it so inconsistent, right? If I bend my arm, it's gonna make me move my wrist, right? You guys don't want that. You guys want the arm straight, palm up. The second thing where you guys wanna do, here, we're gonna put you guys over here, okay? Watch, right? This is a big thing with accuracy. You guys want accuracy on your serve? This is where people go wrong for accuracy. And also, if you guys can do this, you guys will get power as well. Watch this, right? So they're gonna serve, they're gonna serve, right? I'm serving to the left side, right? They're gonna serve and they're gonna serve, and they're gonna walk away from their target. Their momentum's going the opposite way. Do you see how I walked off the camera that way? I wanna to walk to my target. I don't wanna walk away from my target. Think, you want all your momentum going forward to your target. So when you serve, what you wanna do is you wanna serve, and you wanna walk straight forward to your target. It's the point that if I kept on walking, right? If I kept on walking to the target, I would walk directly to where I want to hit it. So if you guys are like, okay, Tyler, well, I want power. You guys want accuracy. All you're going to do is walk to wherever you want to hit. If you could see in that serve, where did I walk to? I walked to the middle of the tee. That's why my ball went to the tee. If I want to serve out wide, watch this. We'll see. I'm on camera. Notice when I do these Instagram reels, guys, I get like 10 tries for one tip, right? I'm not that good. I get, I get take one, take two, take three, right? This, we're on live right now. If I, if I mess up, you guys can see it. I can't crop it out. All right, let's go. Here we are. So we're going to go out wide right now, right? So I'm going to serve. We're going to go out wide. Ready? Here we are. So I'm going to serve, and I'm going to walk to my target out wide. You see, if I kept on walking and there wasn't a net, I'd walk to directly to where I want to hit. Did you guys see that? We did two for two. I'm all, I'm all hype right now, right? Guys, let's give you guys a question real quick, all right? So we talked about going out wide. We talked about going down the tee. Where is another effective place to serve? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments right now. Where is another effective place to serve? Do you guys know? Tell me, let me know in the comments right now. Are you guys listening? Where's another place to serve? You're going down the tee, you're going out wide. Where's another amazing place to serve? People don't think about this. If you guys are a club level player, you think about down the tee, out wide. Where is a good place to serve? The body, right? If you can serve to the middle of the box, yes, there we are, good, uh, Geo Gray 88. If you guys could serve to the middle of the box, you're going to get jammed. Think, I'm right here, and they serve to the middle. I'm going to get blocked up, and I'm not going to be able to hit a good return. If you serve out wide, I can hit my forehand. If you serve uh, down the tee, I can hit my backhand. But if you serve right at me, it's going to be really hard to get out of the middle if you can do it properly. So serving to the body is a really good high percentage tip, all right? Now you guys want some more tips, all right? You guys want some more serve tips? If you guys want some more serve tips, let me know in the comments right now. Let me know in the comments right now below if you guys want some more serve tips. I'm going to text my client saying, uh, where the hell are you? Just wait one sec. He's still not here. Um, yeah, so guys, let me know in the comments right now while, while I text my uh, client. 
if you guys want some more tips. Do you guys want some more surf tips? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want some more tips. Guys, I'm not gonna keep on going right now, right? My client's not here, I'm giving you guys a lesson instead of the person. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you guys want some more surf tips or if you guys want any tips, let me know. No one wants any more tips? All right, guys, I'm, I'm done. No? Okay, wait one sec, wait one sec. Hey, where are you? Da, da, or, no, I shouldn't say that, actually, that, that wouldn't be nice. Um, wait one sec, time out, time out. Hey, are you still on your way, question mark? Okay, I think, wait, time out. Did I say Thursday? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Okay, ready? So, the best beginner serve, right? Here, here it is. I posted this yesterday, right? It actually works. Everyone, they come to me. I work with beginner, intermediate players. They're like, Tyler, my serve sucks. Good luck. I went to 15 pros. They still couldn't improve my serve. And they, like, laugh at me. I'm like, I can improve your serve. I can. It's super easy. The three-step serve method, all right? Step number one, if you guys want to learn how to hit a serve, you're going to be sideways. You'll be sideways, right? And all you're going to do is you're going to toss and you're going to tap. Once again, you're going to toss and you're going to tap. Notice when I tap the racket, what? You see how my arm's extended? You see how my racket is to the ball? That is step number one. Now, you guys want step number two. You're feeling good, toss or tap. We're getting the ball in. Listen, we're not Roger Federer. We're not Rafael Nadal. We are not Carlos Alcaraz, but we're getting that ball in and we can play freaking tennis because in order to play tennis, what do you have to do? You have to get the ball over the net. So stop listening to all of these Instagram bums telling you to do side, this, this, that, that. Guys, we just want to hit the ball over net, toss and tap, okay? Now, if you're like, Tyler, I tossed and tapped, that's cool, but I actually want to beat some people. I want to, like, not have my serve get absolutely annihilated on the other side. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to toss, tap, and then we're going to follow through. So here is step number two. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we are. So now what I'm going to do is instead of just tossing and tapping, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to toss. I'm gonna tap, and then once I tap, I'm going to follow through. I'm gonna to toss, tap, and then follow through. By teaching myself the tapping and then the following through, those are the two main components of the serve. Number one, I'm getting it in, but then I'm putting power on it. Notice, I stopped, right? I stopped, I tapped it in, right? Like the t -t -t tap in song, and then I followed through, right? Now, once you guys get that, you guys are like, Tyler, I want to now hit a good serve. Right now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna put steps one and two together. Guys, check out my last Instagram reel. I literally have this for you right there. If you are spending money trying to learn how to hit a serve, just don't spend money, download my ebook, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna check out my Instagram reel, all right? But now we're gonna go over here and watch what's gonna happen, all right? Watch what's gonna happen. So now I'm going to put steps one and two together. So I'm going to hit and follow through. Oh, we got three for three. Let's go again. Here we are. So I'm on a hit and follow through. So, wow, those were really good serves, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, right? Uh, am I recording this? No, but I think I'm going to save it. I think this is pretty good. But, um, so did you guys see those serves? They had some pop on it, right? Wow, you're you're so good or you've been playing forever. No, all I did was put steps one and two together. I'm not that good. All I did was put steps one and two together of what I just explained to you guys, right? Anyone can do this. That's what I'm trying to say. If you can teach yourself, number one, the contact point and then the follow through, you guys can do that too. Where people go wrong though is that they try to learn all these different things at once. The only two freaking things that you need to know for your serve again is the contact and then follow through. You know what? I'm on my high school tennis courts right now, right? I am on my high school tennis courts. This is where I played tennis when I was in high school, right? Me and my friends, we were, um, we would say we were immature uh, high school, high school age teenagers, right? So our tennis team chant, we would all get together. And our tennis team chant, right? You will never forget this. If you're on this live right now, you will never forget this for serving, all right? What did we always say? What did we always say? We would say, our chant was, you gotta get it up to get it in, right? You gotta get it up to get it in, right? You guys will never, I want you to thank for the serve, right? You gotta get it up to get it in. That's what she said, right? But what are you going to do? If you can get it up and then get it in, you can hit a good serve. You need to go up first and then come down. Where too many players go wrong is that they come down, right? I have to what? I have to go up to get it in. I can't just go straight down, 
or what's going to happen. So again, that is the three-step serve method. If you guys want even more about that, make sure you download my Instantly Improve Your Serve ebook. It is amazing. Again, I sold over 100 copies so far, all right? Slice Serve. You guys want to learn about the Slice Serve? Who wants to learn about the Slice Serve? Let me know in the comments below right now. Let me know. We got 66 people in here. Let's go, let's go. You guys want to learn about the Slice Serve? Who wants to learn about the Slice Serve? This is crazy. If this person doesn't come right now, I had three cancellations in a row. I've never had three cancellations in a row. I was so excited to teach today. Three people canceled in a row, but that's okay. We got that 100% 48-hour uh, all money, no money back uh, policy, right? So we're good. We're still getting paid right now. But you guys want to learn to slice? Who wants to learn to slice right now? Let me know. All right, you guys want to learn to slice? All right, let's get this slice going, okay? So what do you guys think with slice? What do you guys think with slice? What do you think with slice? Well, when you guys hit this slice, right? What are we doing with the slice that's different than the flat? Let's explain it. The flat, you go through the ball. The slice, you come around the ball, okay? All you're doing for the slice is getting less of the ball. Now, if you are not a club level player, I recommend the slice. Why? Why would I recommend the slice? Because a serve that is in 80 miles per hour, that's super flat, low percentage, is way less effective than a serve that is 60 miles per hour, that's in 80% of the time, much higher effective, right? That extra five, 10 miles per hour that you're getting on your serve by trying to hit flat and hitting slice, it's not worth it. You guys are gonna still get the same return, right? So to slice, all you're going to do is you're going to come around the ball, okay? You're going to come around the ball. I want you to notice, people think the slice, you gotta come around this way. You're actually going to come around this way, right? Guess we get you a new cap. Yeah, guys, I need a new hat. This hat is super old. Help me uh, buy a badge right now. I'm giving you guys a free tennis lesson. Make sure you click that link, buy a badge, and help me buy a new hat. Hashtag help tennis with Tyler. Buy a new hat. I wear these hats till they fall off, all right? But here we are. We're going to keep on going, right? So for the slice again, what we're going to do to, for the slice is that we are going to come around the ball. I'm going to come around the ball. I'm gonna come around the ball. All you're going to do is come around the ball instead of coming on top of the ball. Do you guys want a super good tip? Do you guys want an easy tip, an OG tip to just hit a good slice? You guys want one tip? Anyone on this Instagram Live can do it right now. Do you guys want a good tip for the slice? Who wants a good tip for the slice? Let me know. This one tip that you can do. You can be an 80 year old grandma, you could be a 15 year old kid, you could be anywhere in between. If you do this one thing, it doesn't even have to do with your skill level, you can hit a slice. Let me know in the comments below right now if you guys wanna learn an easy, simple tip to hit a slice. Does anyone on here wanna learn how to hit a slice by doing one little thing? All you're going to do is just do one little thing. Anyone can do it on here right now. You do not have to be a good tennis player. You do not have to have a good serve. If you guys want to learn how one little tip to hit a slice, let me know in the comments below right now. Does anyone want to learn how to hit a slice with one tip? Let me know in the comments below right now. We're waiting. Oh, sorry. I got to scroll up. I like your hat. You look fine. Thank you. Thank you. So do you. Hit, hit my DM. No, I'm kidding. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Okay. So here's the tip. Are you guys ready for the tip? Are you guys ready for the tip? Make sure to share this live. We're teaching tons of good tennis stuff right now. Okay. You guys see this right now? Look at this. Look at this, right? So that's continental grip, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's continental grip. All you're going to do, I'm trying to put it in camera. All you're going to do is tilt your racket to the right a little bit. If you are a righty, you're going to tilt your racket to the left a little bit if you're a lefty. Let me repeat that one more time. If you guys want to hit a slice on your serve with the same motion, all you're going to do is tilt the racket a little bit to the right, which is more of a forehand grip if you're a right-handed player, and you're going to tilt your racket to the left if you are a left-handed player. By doing that, that's going to allow you to come around the ball. So again, you're just gonna tilt your racket a little bit to the right. And by tilting your racket a little bit to the right, when you make contact, that's going to have slice. Listen guys, if you guys ever play and you can't get that flat serve, 90, 80% of people can't get that flat serve because they're already in the forehand grip. They're not in continental. But if you're in continental and you want to slice, all you got to do is tilt your racket a little bit to the right, right? By tilting your racket a little bit to the right, that's going to allow me to get that slice serve every single time. Okay, well, Tyler, you explained the slice right now. What about the kick? What do I do for the kick? How the heck do I hit for a kick? 
I tell my coach every single day that I want to learn the, the kick serve, and my coach does not let me. My coach is like, you're not good enough. You can't hit the kick serve. Well, yeah, you can. Everyone can, right? Instead of here, are you guys ready? You ready? Instead of hitting it to, instead of turning your racket to the right, all you're going to do is tilt your racket to the, sorry, 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 time out. And yeah, instead of turning it to the right, all you're going to do is tilt your racket to the left. All you're going to do for the kick serves is instead of slice, you tilt it to the right. Kick serve, you tilt it to the left. If you are a right-handed player, let me repeat that one more time. For the slice, you're tilting it to the right. For the kick serve, you're tilting it to the left. If you're a lefty, for the slice, you're tilting it to the left. For the kick serve, you're, you're tilting it to the right, okay? So if I want to hit a kick serve, all I'm going to do is tilt my racket to the left. Slice, flat, kick serve. So I'm tilting it to the left right here, right? I'm ready to go. Watch this kick, right? Now the next thing that you have to do with the kick, right? You have to go up to the ball. The slice and the flat serve, right? If you guys want to hit a slice and a flat serve, you guys are coming down on the ball, right? So for the slice and the flat, you guys are coming down on the ball. The kick, you're going up to the ball. Now, I know we have all these trolls on here that screen record my videos, that post them and try to like draw things on me, right? They'll zoom in on me. If you record any video of me hitting a kick serve, you'll notice that the ball drops when I try to hit. And they're like, Tyler, you're telling people to hit the ball on the way up, but you're letting it drop, blah, blah, blah. Well, number one, listen, I'm a tennis coach. If I was on the tour, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be coaching tennis. I'd be making millions going around the court, right? But here's the second thing, right? If you can think that you have to go up to it, if you can think that you got to go up to it, even if it doesn't go up in the video, you're going to be able to hit a kick serve. So what I want you to do is I want you to attempt, I want you to think every single time that you are going up to the serve. Ah, oh, that was a baby kick. Let's try one more, right? So you are going up to the serve. Let's do one more, one more. I'm going up to the serve. Guys, did you see that kick right there? That last one was pretty good. So you are going up to the kick serve. That is how you hit a kick serve. You go up to the ball, okay? Now, how to hit the ball. Do you guys want to learn how to hit the ball out of the net? Do you guys want to learn how to hit the ball over the net? No, I am not a lefty. I apologize, guys. This camera, you guys are like, I'm facing my screen. Maybe it's flipping it. Do you guys want to learn how to hit the ball out of the net? Let me know in the comments below right now if you guys want to learn how to hit the ball in the net. Gosh, I hope my client doesn't come. I want to be giving you guys some more fire. We got 113 people in here right now. This is awesome. Make sure to share it with your friends. I'll keep on going, all right? I'll go the whole hour that I'm supposed to give a tennis lesson. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys make sure to share it with your friends, I want to get to 200 people in right now. I want to get 200 people in here right now. Let's go. We need some support. Buy some badges. Share with your friends. Let's go. We're going to teach you guys. You guys want to learn how to get the ball out on that easy way? How to get the ball out on that? And get, once again, this is all my ebook. Send me a DM. I'll give it you guys. What we'll do? We'll do five bucks. Let, ah, screw it. Let's do ten bucks off. DM me if you want to purchase my instantly improve your serve ebook. All this is basically recorded easy videos to watch. DM me. We'll do $10 off. So instead of it being $27.99, it'll be $17.99. Okay. DM me right now. Okay. Let's go. How to get the ball out on that. You guys want to learn how to get the ball out on that? Easy, 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 easy. Okay. I get the ball out on that. Why am I getting the ball out of the net? Tell me right now. What's the, uh, what was my high school tennis champ? Do you guys remember my high school tennis champ? Someone in the comments, tell me right now my high school tennis champ. What, what did I tell you guys? Let's see. Does, what, has anyone been on this live for this long? Have you guys been watching? What was my high school tennis champ? What was it? Do you guys remember my little, uh, my little tennis champ that I used to do in high school? What did I say? You got to get it up to get it in, right? You got to get it up where people go wrong with the serve. When they hit the serve in the net, they don't get it up. They come down. Why do we come down? Here are the top reasons. Number one, I serve, right? So I'm going to serve and I'm going to drop my tossing arm and I'm going to come down. Once again, right? I'm going to serve and I'm going to drop my tossing arm. By dropping my tossing arm, right? When I serve and I drop my tossing arm, what's going to happen with my body? It's going to force my body to go down. So what you need to do what you need to do is you need to keep that tossing arm up. And notice before in this live, what I did was what? I told you guys to keep your palm up, your palm up for a consistent toss. The two ways to uh, have a consistent toss again are arm straight and palm up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep our palm up to ensure that our body is going up, right? So when I toss, right, I'm going to keep my palm up to ensure 
my body to go up. Also, notice, where's my tossing arm? You see his tossing arm? Where is it going? Where is it going? I'm going to do a serve for you guys. Where's my tossing arm going? Where's my tossing arm going, right? My tossing arm is going into my body, and then I'm like, I'm like a rapper or something. Yeah, yeah, right? So my tossing arm's going into my body. My tossing arm's not pulling away. When my tossing arm pulls away, then my body goes down, okay? So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to toss, and then I want you to tuck. Once again, I want to toss, and then I want to tuck. By tucking it in, it's going to force my body to go down into the court. Or sorry, it's going to force my body to go up and then come down properly, right? So I want you guys to do this, right? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to toss, and then we're going to tuck. Ah, I came down too much. All right, once again, guys, let me just be real with you, right? When I do the uh, reels, right, I have like five chances, right? Right now, we're on live. If I miss, I miss, but that's okay. Here we are. Let's try it again. So I'm going to toss, and I'm going to tuck. Okay, that is how that, right? Now, another huge tip to get the ball out on that. You guys want another huge tip to get the ball out on that? Guys, I want you guys to go off this live and do this right now out on court. You guys ready? Another huge tip. You guys want a huge tip right now? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want another huge tip to get this ball out of the net. Let me know if you guys want another huge tip to get the ball out of the net. Comments below. Anyone can do this right now. Anyone. This tip that I'm about to give, anyone can do. Anyone can go out on court. You could be an 80-year-old grandma. You could be a 5-year-old kid. You could be a 15-year-old kid. You could be a 30-year-old man. Whatever. Who cares? You can get this tip. Ready? You guys want this tip? Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to keep your chin up. By keeping your chin up, I'm serious. It is this simple. This it is this simple to get this ball out of net. All you're going to do is keep your chin up. Watch this real quick. You guys ready? So watch. When I serve and I drop my head down, my body's going to come down. If I serve and I keep my chin up, I think chin up, it's going to keep my head going up. So when you serve, if you keep that chin up, it'll exaggerate your body and it's going to make you go up. Are you guys ready? Here we are. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to serve and I'm going to keep my chin up. You see that? Chin up. Chin up. I think I just almost broke my strings right there, right? But by keeping my chin up, it allowed my body to go up and generate that, um, that height, right? Last tip, okay? You guys want another good tip. Let me know. You guys want my third fire tip on how to go up? Does anyone want my third fire tip to go up? Does anyone want my third fire tip to go up? Instantly improve. No, I, I don't know. Do you guys want another tip? Let me know right now if you guys want another tip. Do you guys want another tip? Does anyone want another tip to go up, right? All you're going to do, watch, right? When I serve, I'm going to bend my front hip, right? So I'm gonna serve and I'm gonna bend out my front hip. By bending out my front hip, what's that gonna do? It's gonna force my body to go up. I want you guys to look at this. Watch this for me real quick. Stay on this live for another two more minutes, all right? Watch this real quick, right? Watch, when I serve, if I serve and I'm just here, my hip's not out, right? My hip's straight, watch what's gonna happen. I'm going here, right? See, see that? But now watch, I put this hip out. What's that doing? That's forcing my contact to be up. Hip not out, hip up. Or sorry, hip out, hip not out. Hip out, you see how my hip's out? My body's now, my racket's now going up. So if you can think that your front hip is pointing out, you're going to be go going up when you're hitting that serve. Watch this now, ready? You guys ready? Here we are. So we're going to Shakira. Hips don't lie. You guys ready? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to point this hip out, right? I'm going to be doing like a like a little dance, all right? You guys ready? You guys ready? Here we are. Here we are. So I'm going to serve, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to point the hip out and then go. Ah, that was a bad one. You guys ready again? Let's try it again. Here we are. So I'm going to point the hip out, and then I'm going to go. One more. One more. Here we are. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Hip out. Oh, then go, okay? And once again, I, I personally don't use the hip out tip, but I've seen it work with many of my clients. Go, go, go. You guys see my, my ding dong? <laughs> okay. I'm actually a little bit, um, a little bit red. You guys see my ding dong. Is that, the, I thought, okay, listen, I have 118 people in here. Most people that I've had in my life. I thought you guys were interested and because I had good serves, serve tip. Now I'm saying, now I'm hearing that you guys see my I guess it's a little bit whatever. Who cares? But now I thought you guys were interested in my serve tips, not my uh, not my shorts. Come on. Hey, either way, it's okay. You guys are all learning something. All right. 
What else do you guys want to go over? What do we have? We have we have 28 more minutes. Let me know if there's anything else in tennis that you guys want to go over. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you guys want to go over. Do you guys want to go over? What do you guys want to go over? You guys want to go over more surf tips? You guys want to go over more forehand? Let me know in the comments below right now what you guys want to go over. We're doing it. We're doing a whole hour private lesson with my uh, Instagram live. Let's do it. Let's do it. What do you guys want to go over? Do you guys want to go over forehands? Contact point. Contact point. The tweener. Uh, the tweener's stupid. All right. Let's do contact point. Contact point with, uh, let's do, let's do contact with the forehand. All right. So contact with the forehand. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go. One handed backhand. Ah, uh, no, we're not doing one hand. Guys, here's the thing. People ask me, they're like, Tyler, why aren't you posting about the one-handed backhand it's because i don't do a one-handed backhand i don't i'm not like passionate i can coach it but i don't uh I, i'm a two-handed backhand let's do contact point for the forehand right so contact point for the forehand you guys want to make contact who's my favorite tennis player nick Kyrgios. contact point for the forehand contact point is out in front and away from your body contact point for the one-handed backhand cough cough i don't like it is out in front and away from the body Contact point for the two-handed backhand, look, is out in front and away from the body. Once again, let me explain this one more time. Let me say it out loud. Out in front and away from my body. It's not close to my body. Where too many players go wrong for the contact, and this works for forehand and the backhand, is that it's super close to their jam. You guys want the number one tip to make sure that you have proper contact? Let me know in the comments below right now if you guys want the number one tip to ensure that you have proper contact. Let me know right now in the comments below if you guys want the number one tip to ensure that you have proper contact on your forehand or on your backhand. Let me know in the comments below right now. You guys want proper contact? Who wants proper contact? Let me know in the comments below. Who wants proper contact? Who wants proper contact? Let me know. Does anyone? Anyone want proper contact? If not, we'll move on. We'll not, we'll not do it. We'll not do it. Windshield wiper motion. I don't like to use that term, right? So let me listen, right? Watch this. Watch this, right? So where players go wrong is at the ready position. Look at my elbows. You see how my elbows are super close? So when I turn for my forehand, if my elbows are super close, look, my contact is going to be super close. Once again, if my elbows are super close, then my contact is going to be super close. So what is the tip? You're going to have your elbows away from your body. Watch. So when I have my ready position, if I have my elbows away from the body, when I turn, then my contact's going to be away from the body. If I have my elbows close, contact close. If, my, if I have my elbows away, I'm going to be able to make contact away from the body. So the number one thing that you want to do is you want to what? You like to socially distance from your racket. Pretend your racket has COVID, right? I want to socially distance from the racket, right? I don't want the racket to be close when I turn. That's going to be too close. I want to distance from the racket. Pretend my racket smells like horrible. You just want to, ah, oh, the racket smells, right? I want to be as far as away as I can get from it, right? You're going to keep the racket away from your body, and that's going to make your contact away from your body. So that's going to help distance. But now what do you got to do? Now we worked on getting it away this way, but now we got to work on contact this way, right? So instead of getting it here, we're going to get it here. Well, the thing is, number one, what do you guys got to do? Think, if it gets too close to your body, what does that mean? You're hitting it too late, right? You're hitting it too late. So the number one tip is going to be what? You are going to hit the ball earlier. If you can hit the ball earlier out in front of you, you will make contact more out front. Now, the next thing, right? This is the number one reason why players have con bad contact with the forehand, with the backhand, with whatever, right? This is the number one reason. I see so many club-level players. I work with club-level players. That's all I do. That's how I make a living. I, I work with club-level players who are looking to improve their tennis, right? So I see, I see people do this all the time, right? Say the ball is out wide, right? Let me see where we are. So we have that, okay, so say the ball's out wide. Here's what happens, right? So people will go to the ball, they'll go to the ball sideways, and then they'll turn. So the ball's coming, right? I'm going to the ball sideways, then I turn, and the ball gets so close, right? So think, the ball's coming, and then I go to the ball, and then I turn, ah, it's too close, I get jammed, I have bad contact. Same thing for the backhand, two-handed, one-hander, right? So 
the ball's coming, right? I'm moving to the ball, and then I turn. Ah, oh, super close. I can't get it. I have bad contact. My forehand sucks. My backhand sucks. My, 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 my uh, one-handed backhand sucks, right? So what are you going to do? How are we going to fix it? Easy way, right? Anyone can do this, ready? All you're going to do is you are going to turn, and then you are going to move. Let me repeat one more time. You are going to turn, and then you are going to meet. Move. Watch this, right? So watch what's going to happen, right? So instead of the ball's out here, right? Instead of going to the ball and then turning, having too close contact, contact, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my rackets already back and then I'm going to move to the ball and then hit. Same thing for the back end, right? So back end's over here. I'm going to turn, then I'm going to move to the ball and then hit. So when you move to the ball, you wanna make sure that you are already turned. Let me explain the turn real quick. There are two things for the turn. Number one, I want my body sideways, but then number two, I want my racket back. Number one, I want my body sideways, but then I want my racket back. I want my body sideways and I want my racket back. You have to turn before you move to the ball. You can't move to the ball and then turn. You are going to get it late. You need to turn and then move. I'm not a car guy at all, right? But in order to make your car go, you have to put your car in drive, right? If you step on the gas or the electricity right now, because gas prices are so damn high, right? If you step on the gas or the electricity and it's a neutral, are you gonna go or not? You are not going to go, right? You have to put the car in drive and then you can go everywhere, right? So think about it. you are a car, right? I'm going to put my car in drive and then I'm going to go. If I'm here, I'm not in drive. No matter how much I wanna go, I can't go. I have to put my car in drive and then I can move to the ball and hit. So again, if you can make sure you get your contact out in front, you hit it early, you distance from your racket, you pretend your racket smells super bad, you turn, then you move to the ball, you will be able to get proper contact, you won't be able to get jammed, and you will be able to win more points. All right, does anyone want to learn anything else? We got, we got 21 more minutes. Does anyone want to learn anything else? Let me know in the comments below right now. Does anyone want to learn anything else? Let me know in the comments below right now. If you guys want to learn, you guys want to learn, what do you guys want to learn? Or we can be done. We can close this tennis lesson. That's okay. We have 21 more minutes left. Let me know. Net play. You guys want to learn about net play, net play. Oh man, dot, dot, dot. Okay. See you guys soon. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You guys want to learn about net play? Perfect. All right. So we are going to work on net play. You guys ready? So with the net. Everyone feels like they can't come to the net. They have no clue what's going on. I can't get to the net. I suck at the net, whatever, 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 right? So the number one thing at the net is when you guys are at the net, ready position, okay? Think about it this way. You want, when you guys are at the net, you guys want to make sure that your hands are up and down front. Where players go wrong, number one reason why everyone sucks at their volley is because of this. Watch. Their hands are like this. They're waiting for the ball. When my hands are close to my body and the racket's close to my body, it's going to be able to hard, be hard to get contact, right? Just like the forehand, you want to keep it away from your body, right? So when you have your ready position, you want your racket out in front and your elbows away from the body. Look, if my hands are in here, I'm gonna make contact in here. If my hands are away from my body, now I'm going to be able to make contact away from the body, right? Now I'm going to be able to make contact away from the body. Also, if you have trouble with with pace, if anyone's hitting too too hard at you, you can't get these hard balls that are coming at you. Think about it this way, right? Your hands are down, the ball's coming, right? The ball's coming, it takes so long to go like this and then like that, right? The ball's coming, my hands are down like this, the ball's coming, it's so hard to get my racket up. My racket's already up, I can just go like this really quick. So if you have your hands up and down front, you will be able to play with those hard volleys. Now, for the forehand and the backhand volley, okay? for a right-handed player, okay? For the forehand volley, you're gonna have your hands up, you're going to step with your left foot across your body, and then you're going to hit. For the backhand volley, you're going to step with your right foot across the body. Now, let's be real, Tyler. It gets really fast at the net, right? You are not always going to be able to do that, right? But if you can attempt, if you can attempt every single time to step with the left foot and the right foot, then you guys are going to be able to hit a good volley. Too many players, they hit the volleys in the net because they don't step, right? So if I'm here and I don't step, right? Look, 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 ah, the ball's going in the net, right? But if I step, that's going to allow me to get that ball over the net. Let's do it for the backhand volley. You guys ready? Here we are. So I'm trying to hit the volley, ah, I'm not stepping, right? But if I step, 
that's going to allow myself to get that ball over the net, right? So if you step, you will be able to hit a better volley, okay? The next thing, where people go wrong, where people go wrong with the volley, right? Can't hit a volley, suck at a volley, can't get the volley over the net, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, right? All you're going to do is watch, right? When you make contact with the ball, right? When I make contact with the ball, you see how my racket's up and out in front? You see that? You see how my racket's up? I want you guys to know, you see how it rackets up? Watch what happens, right? Watch what happens. Where players go wrong is that they drop their racket. Again, where players go wrong is they drop their racket face. After they make contact, they drop it. They try to hit backspin. You want to hit backspin on your volley. No, you don't. You don't want, you don't want to hit backspin, right? You want to keep the racket up and out in front like this, okay? A great rule of thumb, a great way to do that is when you hit it, right? You're going to freeze your racket. Watch, for the forehand volley, right? When I do it, right, I'm here and I make contact, look, I freeze my racket. My strings are out, right? I'm not going down, right? So I want my strings to my target. Now, you wanna take that a step further, okay? We got control, we got, ac we got consistency now. Now we want accuracy. Now, I wanna be able to place the backhand wherever I want to in the court, right? I wanna place the backhand wherever I want to in the court. Now, well, what do we do? All you do is you point your strings to your target. Watch this, right? This is a great tip, right? So if you wanna go down the line, I'm going to point my strings down the line. If you wanna go cross court, I'm going to point your strings cross court. That is how you are going to aim the ball, okay? That is how you are going to aim the ball. Wherever you want the ball to go, you are going to aim the ball. I can feel your passion through this slide. Yeah, guys, for everyone just joined, I, I had a lesson. I'm actually worried about, I don't know where they are. I'm actually like, and they're usually really responsive, so I hope that they're okay, but I had a lesson, I was all amped up, ready to go, and I was like, hey, why not hop on live right now and teach you guys a tennis lesson on Instagram Live? Just so you guys know, this is exactly how I teach, right? I was in my teaching way, I'm in my teaching mode. This is how I teach, this is how my company teaches. If you guys are in the PA area, if you guys are in the New Jersey area, this is how we teach. We, we teach with tons of passion, tons of enthusiasm. We're obsessed with this stuff, and this is why I believe that we are the best tennis coach and tennis, com uh, tennis company in the world for sure. There, there's no other coach out here that's teaching like this, right? I, I don't know, maybe there is, but uh, I haven't found them, all right? So what do you guys wanna learn next? What do you guys wanna learn next? We have, we have uh, 15 more minutes for our, uh, our tennis lesson. What do you guys wanna know, what do you guys wanna know next? Does anyone wanna learn anything else? We worked on the volley, we worked on contact point, we went on the serve. How many lessons to improve from a beginner to a decent player? Yeah. So uh, I work with beginner intermediate players. My company does. We always sell our lessons in packs of six. So if you do a pack of six, you'll probably be able to learn how to get it over over the net and everything like that, right? You'll be able to have a good rally, uh, depending on your athletic ability. If your if your hand eye is a little bit low, then it might take you a little bit longer. If your hand eye is better, if you have prior experience, um, it might be sooner. Um, we usually do, uh, we do sell clinics and packages is of 12 as well. You guys wanna learn the slice? The slice? Okay, cool, we'll do the slice. What, the slice on the backhand? Backhand slice? Backhand slice? All right, all right, all right. So, slice, 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 slice. All right, so if we're trying to hit a slice real quick, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do for the slice? I already went over to kick serve. You guys are gonna have to tune in. I think I'm gonna post this live. We'll see what happens. I, I wonder if I could edit it and then post it. I, I, I do not know what I said. Um, support, you, you people support the poor people if you can. We are in Africa. Shout out to Africa, all right? How many hours per day to learn tennis with you? Um, probably, again, six lessons, uh, six lessons. Taz, Taz, I miss you. you yeah, I, I guess you're, you're just not, not coming anymore, Taz. We got brand new courts here, super nice. I miss you, Taz. You're probably killing it, though. I know you're busy. All right, backhand slice, let's go, let's go. Ready, backhand slice, you guys want backhand slice? For everyone that just joins, I had a lesson. I had like two lessons canceled in a row. That's okay, we got the cancellation policy, but I was like, why not? We'll just teach Instagram, and yeah, so we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, let's go, let's go. The slice, okay? Here's the thing where the slice goes wrong, okay? You guys ready? So where the slice goes wrong is that players try to go down. They try to chop. They're chopping like they're on freaking Fruit Ninja. Guys, this isn't Fruit Ninja. This is a slice, right? So what happens wrong is that players think this slice is like this. You don't want to swing down. You want to swing forward for the slice. Once again, you don't want to chop at it like you're, like you're, um, 
what's that guy's name? Um, Salt Bay. You know, chopping the steak. You know, Salt Bay when he drops all that stuff, right? You don't want to be Salt Bay. You want to go forward. You want to be smooth and go forward, right? So watch this, right? Watch this. Watch this, right? So when I slice. I want to keep my racket forward. I want to keep my racket level. Watch, if I swing down, it's going to be trash, right? But if I swing forward, if I swing forward, that is going to be able to drive. That is going to be able to make that ball skid on the ground. That is going to be able to keep the ball low. That is how you hit a slice. You don't swing down. You swing forward. You guys want a great tip for a slice to ensure that your racket is forward every single time? Who here? wants a great tip to ensure that your slice is the proper swing every single time. Anyone can do it. An 80 year old grandma can do it. A 15 year old kid can do it. A four year old can do it. Does anyone want an easy tip? You guys can go right off this live and hit a good slice. Have the proper slice swing path if you guys learn this tip. Does anyone on here right now want to learn? Does anyone on here right now? Let me know in the comments below right now if you guys want this one tip to ensure that your slice swing is proper every single time. Let me know in the comments below. I'll I'll turn the live off. We'll get off live early. That's perfectly fine. Let me know. Let me know. How do you know so much with 23 years old? Um, yeah, well, I had to teach tennis. I had to teach tennis in order to play tennis, right? So my whole life, I had to if I wanted to get tennis lessons, I had to help teach tennis, right? That's how I, I work. So I'd work all day in the morning, and then I'd get free. Uh, then I'd have my work pay for the tennis lessons. So I saw all these players throughout my um, my years, I guess, starting like super, super young. Getting back to, okay, perfect, we're doing the tip. You guys ready? Okay, so here's the tip, right? So, tip of the racket, right? Tip of the racket. You guys see the tip of the rap racket right now? You guys see that tip? Do you guys see this tip of the racket, okay? Watch this, right? I'm doing the wrong slice right now. You guys ready? I'm doing the wrong slice. You ready? Watch this, watch this, right? So I'm gonna slice, boom, I'm slicing down. One more, one more, boom, I'm slicing down. Where's the tip of my racket pointed, guys? The tip of my racket is pointed downward. How do we ensure that we have the proper slice every single time? You guys want some fire? Okay, I'm gonna say it now. I'm, I'm done playing, all right? You're going to point the tip of the racket forward. I'm telling you, it's that easy. You guys ready? You guys ready? Here we are, here we are. Let's go, let's go, right? So I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna slice forward. You see the tip of the racket? Where's the tip? I'm, gonna, I'm not moving my arm. Where's the tip of the racket pointing? Forward. Let's do it one more. I'm gonna slice to you guys. Look, the tip of the racket is where? The tip of the racket is forward. So if you can point the tip of the racket to the court, you're going to ensure that your swing path is properly is proper every single time you hit a slice. I'm dead serious. Okay, Tyler, I want to take a step further. I have a good slice. Now I want to be able to locate my slice. I want to be able to either hit it cross court. I either want to be able to hit my uh, slice down the line. How am I going to do that? Well, let me tell you real quick, all right? You're going to point the tip of the racket to wherever you want the ball to go because the number one tip for accuracy is wherever you point the racket to, the ball is going to go. By pointing the racket, it's going to ensure that your body is going to be pointing to the proper position, right? So I want you to watch this real quick, right? We're playing, we're playing uh, Alcaraz right now, right? We're playing Alcaraz. We're going to get trash. But when I swing, right, I'm going to swing, boom. Look, see how I'm pointing the tip of the racket? Where am I pointing? Over there, wow, the ball went to go over there. It's rocket science. No, it's not rocket science. It's freaking physics. I think it's physics. I'm not sure. I'm not really good at physics. But it works, okay? I'm going down the line right now, right? So we're going down the line. We're going down the line. We're going down the line. Boom. Look, oh, my gosh. Wow, the ball went down the line. I pointed the tip of the racket. That is how you do it, right? So if you want a good slice, all you're going to do is point the tip of the racket to the court. If you want a good slice and you want to be able to locate the slice wherever the heck you want, you want cross court.